So to start with, I've got two big kick drums. The smaller one's 20 inch and the larger one is 24 inches. The 24 inch one's gonna be our base and the 20 inch one I'm just gonna use as a template to cut around my cake. So I've got some cake sheets here. I couldn't bake a big round cake in my oven as my oven wasn't big enough for this particular cake. So the cake sheets were just gonna cut around. So I'm gonna put my um, cake drum just over there and I'm gonna slice off one end so we can move it around here because one sheet isn't quite wide enough. Okay, and now I'm gonna just cut around my board. And I'm gonna put the offcuts to one side. I'll save those and do something with them later, I think, maybe. I don't know what yet. So there's the top little extra piece. So that will just fit onto there, like so. I'm just gonna put a thin layer of buttercream all on this cake, just so I can stick it to my cake board. Now, I've had help with this because it was quite big. So I put the board on the bottom of the cake and then we flipped it over. So Richard helped me flip that over there and then just peel off that paper. Then I'm gonna put another layer of buttercream on and this is gonna be in the middle of my two layers of cake. So just repeat the same process again in that we're gonna cut around that cake board. So I've still got, can you see, a little bit that's an extra piece, or not an extra piece, but that didn't quite fit off. This one I had to cut into smaller pieces because I struggled to pick it up without it breaking. So I cut it in small pieces and then sandwiched it on top. Just gonna go with a thin layer of buttercream just around the edge. And I want like a pizza crust. I don't want it to just be solid fondant. So I'm gonna actually cut away a little bit at the sides here. So just off the side, we'll cut down. And then towards the middle, I'm cutting out a kind of a slant. So our pizza dips slightly in the middle. Not too much, just a little bit. And I'm gonna do that all the way around. And let's just take off some of the middle section now. It doesn't matter if it's not neat because my pizza is going to be uneven on the top anyway. Now I am worried about the strength of my buttercream. So I'm just adding a thin layer of white chocolate ganache around the edge just so that it's nice and firm and it's going to hold like the crust bit up. So I've got a piece of ivory colored fondant that we're just going to roll out like a nice long piece. And I'm just going to roll it just so it's deep enough to cover the edge of my pizza. I'm covering the edge of that pizza or cake in piping gel so that my fondant's gonna stick and then let's place the fondant around the edges. So I've tried not to roll it too thick. Doesn't mean you'll see through to the lumps and bumps but it's okay for this crust because I don't want a nice smooth finish. Just folding it over that little edge of cake there. If it doesn't quite meet the, meet the bottom just pull it down just a little bit stretching it out. Anywhere where it's too long I'm gonna cut some off. And I have got a join at one side, so I tried to press it down with my fingers. You can still see it a little bit, but I think it shouldn't be too bad by the time we're finished. Okay, so let's just add a bit more texture to the sides of our pizza. So I've just got some tin foil. You can use um, greaseproof paper instead, if you prefer. And then we're going to blow torch the edges just to brown it a little bit. So yeah, I think this gives me a nice bit of colour. The only thing is, I'm having to go over it quite a bit to get the colour. So my chocolate ganache and buttercream underneath is just melting just a little bit. So I think what I'm going to do is just add a bit of brown food dust. So it is edible, this dust. Concentrating mainly on the top bit and then a tiny bit near the bottom. Then once I've gone around with that everywhere, I'll go back over with the blowtorch again. So I won't have to go over it quite as much, just a little bit. So you can see it browning. Just be careful you don't catch the cake in the middle. And I'm going to put some red food coloring into my buttercream so that we get like a tomato puree kind of color. So I'm gonna dollop on that red buttercream. Just gonna spread it onto the top of this cake. So I'm not worried about it being perfectly even. It's gonna be covered up and in fact, it looks quite nice with the little marks in from the palette knife. Just take it right up to the edge of the pizza crust or the cake pizza crust. Then we need to add some cheese. Although preferably not actual cheese to this one. So this is just a block of white modeling chocolate and it just looks exactly like cheese and I'm gonna grate it. So you can grate it straight onto the top or just grate a plate full and then we can sprinkle it on whichever way around you find easier. It does kind of clump together a little bit once I've got it in my hands. I suppose it would do that in real life if it was actual cheese too, so that's fine. And just cover with as much as you want. I think I used two blocks of the modeling chocolate to put onto the top of mine. And it looks quite nice if you've got a little bit just going over the edges of your pizza crust. Then we're gonna mix some pepperoni. So I've got like a reddy orange color, but I've kind of marbled it with a paler version of the reddy orange color. So you can see the colors aren't mixed together very well. And we're gonna texture the fondant. Again, I'm not worried about the overlapping bits, that's fine. 
I think this is a basketball texture mat. I'll put links in the description box below to what I've used. But I want to change the color a little bit. So I'm just using more of that brown edible dust that we used on the pizza crust. And then I'm using a small round cookie cutter. And I'm going to just cut several pieces of pepperoni out. So I've kept the fondant fairly thin for these pieces. And then I'm just going to go over the edge a little bit more with extra of that brown edible dust. So it looks a bit more cooked on the outside edge than in the middle. And then we're going to place it on our pizza. And it's up to you how many pieces you want to put on. I started placing them fairly evenly and then decided that actually they wouldn't be evenly placed on a pizza at all. So I tried to overlap some. And now what we need to do is just kind of melt our cheese or modern chocolate a little bit. And also, can you see if I go over the pieces of pepperoni, it kind of brings the oil out the modeling chocolate, so it makes them a little bit shinier, like pepperoni would be in real life. So once I've done that, I want to ice my board. So I've just got some black fondant here, and I'm going to roll a long strip, if you can see past my arm. So I'm going to just place this around my board. If it doesn't stick to your board, put a bit of pipe and jello water just on that board. And can you see I'm just gently lifting it, and pulling it around the edge. Go all the way around. Then once you've done that, you can trim off all the extra with a nice sharp knife so it's level with the edge of the board. And I'm just gonna finish it off with some black ribbon. So I've put some double-sided tape all the way around my cake board. And then I've got a ribbon that's the same width as the depth of my cake board or cake drum. And I think I just wanna add a bit more color quickly to my cheese. So I've got like an orange powder, an orange food powder that is. And I'm just going to dab with a big brush just slightly on the top of that pizza. Now I can eat my lunch. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.